Each pair of these tusks represents a single elephant. Some were old matriarchs whose family depended on them for leadership and survival. Others were from old bulls, the smaller ones from juveniles too young to breed. In all, the authorities found more than three tons of ivory hidden in a single container bound for Asia. It was worth millions of dollars. This is organized crime and it's not uh, something that is being done by small guys. Whoever is doing it is well connected, has enough resources. This is what's driving the trade, the growing demand for fine ivory, mostly in Asia. Conservationists argue that there's been far too much emphasis on stopping the supply and not enough on reducing demand for what is, after all, a purely decorative item. And if you buy an ivory bangle, or if you buy now a rhino bangle, you don't want to hide it away in a cupboard. You want to wear it, you want to show it off. That means it's a status symbol. So that's the opposite of what we would need to achieve if we wanted to reduce demand. The south area of this park the last few months has been much worse hit. In the meantime, conservationists are using increasingly sophisticated technology to protect vulnerable herds. At a command center in the Samburu Game Reserve, Save the Elephants tracks some of the biggest animals using collars linked to the mobile phone network. We use the system to find Flaubert, a fiercely protective mother in a group called the Artists. But Save the Elephants knows she probably will eventually be killed if demand keeps prices high. It's worth an enormous amount compared to local incomes here. Uh, the tusks of a single mature bull in this region in 2011 were worth 15 years of salary for an unskilled worker or one and a half years salary for a, for a well-paid wildlife ranger. That's quite a temptation. Too much temptation for the would-be poacher who shot Sylvia in the jaw two years ago. She survived but with an infected wound that still causes her great pain. Figures from 2011 show that in that year alone Africa's elephants declined by more than 7%, and all the signs are that things are even worse now. If things keep going at this rate, within the next 10 years, poachers will have destroyed more than 70% of Africa's elephants. But this is one of the whole. And so conservationists say this crisis could drive elephants to extinction unless something is done to stop both the supply and demand. Peter Grester, Al Jazeera, in Kenya's Samburu Game Reserve.